Greetings! Welcome to Saint of the Week, the show where we choose one saint's feast day from this week and discuss their lives and their impact on the church. The saint for this week is Saint Rita of Kasha, whose feast day is May 22nd, this Monday. Rita, also known as Margarita, was born on 13 in 1381 in the town of Roccaporona, Italy. From an early age, she desired to be a nun, but her parents instead arranged her marriage with a nobleman named Paolo Mancini. Rita gave birth to her twin sons at the age of 12. Paolo was a rich, quick-tempered, and immoral man, but Rita bore all his insults, abuses, and infidelities with patience and courage. She demonstrated all the qualities of a model wife and mother, raising her two sons, Giovanni Antonio and Paolo Maria, in the Christian faith. Over time, her kindness and virtue caused Paolo to become a better person. Paolo's family, the Mancinis, were currently in a feud with the Chiqui family, but Rita's influence caused Paolo to reject the feud. Gradually, however, the opposition between the families became more and more intense, and Paolo was stabbed to death by Gaudo Chiqui. At her husband's funeral, Rita publicly forgave his killer. Bernardo Mancini, Paolo's brother who continued on with the feud, tried to convince Rita's sons to seek revenge. Rita, not wanting her sons to commit mortal sins, tried to persuade them otherwise, but to no avail. Finally, she prayed that God would take her sons, rather than have them risk hell. A year later, both of her sons died of dysentery. After the deaths of her husband and sons, Rita sought to join the convent of St. Mary Magdalene in Kasha. The nuns there acknowledged her piety, did, but did not want to associate themselves with her because of the scandal involved with her husband and his violent death. Rita persisted, however, and the nuns finally allowed her to join on one condition, that she put a stop to the feud between the Mancinis and the Chiquis. Rita Im- implored her three patron saints, John the Baptist, Augustine of Hippo, and Nicholas of Tolentino, to assist her and set to work making peace between the feuding families. The bubonic plague was ravaging Italy at the time, and Bernardo Mancini became infected with it. He relinquished his desire to continue the feud, and Rita succeeded in resolving the conflict between the two families. She was allowed admittance to the convent in 1417, at the age of 36. Living under the Augustinian rule at the the convent, Rita soon became famous for her charity and prayerfulness. She cared for the sick nuns and counseled lay people who visited the convent. She began to have visions and received a wound on her forehead, which people quickly identified as a partial stigmata. On May 22, 1457, Rita died of tuberculosis at the age of 76. Her body is incorrupt, and she is a patron saint of lost and impossible causes, sickness, wounds, marital problems, abuse, mothers, infertility, and parenthood. Rita presents herself as a model wife and mother, displaying the virtues of humility, patience, kindness, and gentleness. She showed admirable courage in stopping the conflict between the feeding families, thus reflecting what Jesus said in the Beatitudes, Blessed are the peacemakers. Saint Rita of Kasha, pray for us. Our honorable mentions for this week are Saint Cristobal Magallanes and Companions, Saint Gregory VII, Saint Mary Magdalene de Pazzi, St. Bede the Venerable, St. Philip Neri, and St. Augustine of Canterbury. And of course, there are thousands of other saints who undoubtedly have their feast days this week, but we are, there are so many of them that there is no way we could list them all here. We hope you have enjoyed this episode of St. of the Week. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Peace, Peace be to you. you.